What's an equinox? Great question. All right, let's zoom out and take a look at the big picture. All right, so the Earth is revolving around the sun. We know that. And on each end, we have a solstice, okay? The longest or shortest days of the year. And then right smack dab in the middle, we have an equinox, a day where the night and day are the same length, 12 hours. Is that confusing? Here, let me show you another chart to help explain it. So I made this chart to show how the length of a day changes over time. So right here on the left, we have the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And where I live in Massachusetts, the sun rises at about 4 a.m. and sets at about 7 p.m. But wait, 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 wait. Mr. Queso, I live in Massachusetts, and I swear that in the summer, the sun sets later than 7 p.m. Well, it does. We have a thing called daylight savings time in parts of the U.S., and it kind of messes with our numbers, okay? But we're gonna go with what it should be, which is 4 a.m. to around 7 p.m. Then on the opposite end, we have the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, where here in Mass, it rises at about 7 a.m. and sets at about 4 p.m. Hey, do you notice something about the sunrise and sunset times for the solstices? They're opposites. Yeah, that's not accidental. That's a pattern. Science loves patterns. So if we move from the winter solstice, we eventually get to the spring equinox. Hooray! So the spring and fall equinoxes are smack dab in the middle of the longest and shortest days of the year, which is why they both have 12 hours of day at night. That's why they're the most average days of the year.